my name is John Lacar, and this is going to be my first full suspension mountain bike build. Um, as you can probably see in the title and by the box, uh, this is going to be a 2022 Nuke Proof Mega 290 alloy build. Um, bought the parts here. I'll show you guys here in a bit what I picked. Um, but before that, I want to share um, a few clips or pictures of my first full suspension mountain bike, which is also a Nuke Proof Mega. And uh, here it is. My first full suspension bike, 2021 Nuke Proof Mega 275 Comp Alloy. It came with the RockShox Yari 170 millimeters of travel up front. RockShox Super Deluxe Select 165 millimeters of travel in the rear compared to 160 for the 29ers. Uh, the wheels, Sunringo Durock, tires, Michelin Wild Enduro, group set, Shimano Dior M6200, so their entry level 12 speed. Brakes, Shimano Dior M6100, two pot, rotors, 203 up front, 180 in the rear, and then the rest, handlebars, dam, seat posts, our house brand, new proof Neutron, or the Horizon. And yeah, I definitely enjoyed this bike. It's more than capable. Um, I've actually taken this to my first lift access mountain bike park, which is Spider Mountain. And I definitely enjoy my time there with this bike. But this is size large and I'm only 5'9", so my ideal size was a size medium. So I sold it in Facebook Marketplace and got a size medium. And here are are the pictures of it the same bike same specs but i actually wanted a 29er instead of 27.5 so after realizing that so this is not an unboxing um i've already opened this just to see if you know if there's any scratches on the frame but let me pull it out here for the camera Here it is, um, the 2022 Nook Proof 290 Mega Alloy, uh, 290 for 29 inch wheels. Uh, it comes with the 2022 RockShop Super Deluxe Ultimate and this uh, gray color with the silver metallic Nook Proof logo. Well, yeah, this frame is pretty. Oh, and uh, it's on a, it's a size medium. All right, now let's go over the parts here. All right, let's go over some of the parts here. So, um, this is the Hunt Enduro Wide wheel set. This is their V1 model. I'll show you after the bike is built. This is uh, 33 millimeters um, internal width so it's not the v2 which i believe is 33 in the front and then 31 in the rear could be wrong but yep yeah, this is the fork it's um rock shop zeb ultimate 170 millimeter of travel 29 inch wheels for the group set, I'll be using the Dram Tram GX. Let's see here if I can open it. Yep, I'll show you in the built, but I just want to go over the parts. So, again, Tram GX Eagle. Um, let's move this box out of the way. For the grips, Nook Proof Horizon, Stem, Nook Proof Horizon again. Uh, I believe this is 31.8 and then 40, 42. I'll edit the video and put the proper description. For the dropper pose, well, for the lever, I have the Loam Lever PNW dropper because I'm using a their loam dropper, 170 
millimeters of, I mean millimeters of travel. Sorry, I can't speak. Um, for the handlebar, let's see, I'm using the notebook for Ryzen. Uh, right now it's in, it's uh, 800 millimeters. I'm gonna cut it down to 760 because uh, I'm only 5'9, 5'9, 38 millimeter rise and 31.8 there. Uh, for my stopping power, I'll be using the TRP EVO uh, DHR that uses a 2.3 millimeters of rotor, which is um, right here. I'm going to be using 203. Yep, TRP 42, 2 mm um, 6 bolt rotor, so front and rear. For the tire, um, this is new, so um, once I open this up and show you guys, um, this is the E13 Grappler 2.5. So I'll put the Endurance on the rear, and then this one, it's also Grappler. 2.5 Mopo. This is gonna be up front. Yep, wanna see that. That was brand new. Came out just recently. Well before this video. Probably what April, May, May or June. Yep. And then here, sorry for the mess. I'm in my apartment. For the pedals, I didn't see a lot of review on this on YouTube. It's a SDG comp pedals. Let me see here. There you go. They reminded me of uh, one of components. Um, they look like it. And here's the description. If I can zoom right there. Oh, it's not zooming. I'll just edit it and add it here. Let's. So here it is, 380 grams for both of them, 18 pins, flat pedal. I like it. I know everybody likes the one-up component, but kind of want to be different. So pick this one and then uh, crank boots. Um, oh, one-up V2 chain guide and bash guard. And then also for my bottom bracket, um, Reels Manufacturing. So yep, those are the parts that I'll be putting on my bike. Oh, I forgot, because um, it's still coming in the mail. I'll also be adding um, a frame protection. And also to protect the rim, I'm adding an insert, a rim pack pro, so I'll just add it to the video. But yeah, it goes to Noob 290 Mega Alloy 2022 model. And this one is the tire insert, rim pack pro, compatible with 2.35 to 2.6 tires, or 23. 35 millimeters uh, wide rims. There it is. 29 inches. Here's the ride wrap frame protection kit. Brand names right there. Nuke proof. The model Mega 29. Uh, Year is 2021 plus. So it should fit my 2022 frame size medium and I got the gloss version I think this one is the tailored one so it should cover 90% or more of my frame and yeah ride wrap frame protection so cycle progression local bike shop here in Austin Texas will be building my bike Back at cycle progression. And 
here's the bike. Fully built. It's a little too bright, um, but I'll get better shot when I get back to my place. There you go. Credits to Cycle Progression here in Austin. Let's take a closer look at my 2022 Nookproof Mega 290 build. The frame is a hydroformed and triple butted 6061-T6 aluminum and this is the bullet gray color and yeah it looks really nice. Now let's take a close look at that bullet gray and there's a black accent right there and then AL stands for the aluminum the silver accent. Name branding Nookproof right here it's a shiny silver and then it says mega right here in the back um it says 160 millimeters of travel and then 290 for the 29er and then size medium the frame came with the 2022 rockshock super deluxe ultimate with the climb switch or a lockout lever which is what i wanted the shock size is 230 by 62.5 millimeters which provides 160 millimeters of travel in the rear. And then to match that, I went with the 2022 RockShox Zeb Ultimate, which provides 170 millimeters of travel and also has 38 millimeters of stanchion. For my group set, I went with SRAM GX Eagle. So the rear derailleur is GX. The cassette has 10 to 52 tooth or 520% range. So there's newer model. The crank arms, 170 millimeters in length. My chain ring, 32 tooth. So the chain is also GX and the shifter, I'll show you in a, in a bit, it's also GX. My pedals, SDG composite. I really like this. Reminds me of the one up component. I also put a crank arm boot protector right there. For my wheel set, I have the Hunt Enduro Wide 29 inch wheels. This is their V1 version, so 33 millimeters internal width. Spoke count 32 up front, 36 in the rear. And then the rear hub is a XD with 120 point of engagement. Tires E13 Grappler 2.5 inch wide. This is the one with the Enduro casing, but with the Mopo compound up front and endurance compound in the rear for less rolling resistance for my saddle i have the sdg radar to match with my sdg comp pedals the radar looks sleek it's black i like it for the seat post i have a 31.6 millimeter diameter seat post um, it's a pnw loam dropper which provides me with 170 millimeters of drop and to match that, I have a PNW loam lever, also in black. For my brakes, I have the TRP DHR Evo. I like the black and silver looks. These are downhill rated, so it should be more than enough stopping power for me. To match that, I have their TR42 rotors. Both front and rear comes in at 203 millimeters in diameter. Six bolt, black and silver looks again. I like the trp dhr evo brakes because the width of their rotors are 2.3 millimeters which are thicker than the average standard for my cockpit i went with the nuke proof house brands so the frame already came with the nuke proof neutron tapered headset the stem i got the nuke proof horizon it has a 31.8 millimeter bar clamp and the length is uh 45 millimeters here's the Top cap, Nook Proof brand logo. For the handlebar, it's also the Nook Proof Horizon. I got this black and silver color, um, 38 millimeter rise, and then I had it cut down to 760 millimeters for my height. And then for the grip, also Nook Proof Horizon. Here goes the logo. And then I have the GX shifter right here and then PNW loam lever. And to finish off the build, I have a ride wrap installed on my frame. So you can see the lines here. This is their gloss version because they also have a matte version. 
and cycle progression did a really good job of installing the ride wrap around my frame i like the kit it covers 90 percent or 95 percent of the frame even this linkage has coverage and then down here i have a lasagna right holding water bottle cage so i can put a water bottle there and then i have a one up component chain guide and bash guard down here and before i forget i have a rim pack pro inserts inside these tires both front and rear and then it also came with their tubeless valve this wraps up the video of my custom build 2022 look proof mega 290 v4 size medium i enjoyed making this video and i know there's a lot of parts here that are overkill but i'm looking forward to grow with this bike and learn more and hopefully i don't need to upgrade anything else in the future again thank you for watching